what up? First of all, I'm going to get a haircut soon. <laughs> Let's get that straight. Second of all, like, it's funny how I make videos when things get on my nerves a little bit. So, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm bipolar. And today, I didn't take my medicine. And, uh, you know, I should have. But it is what it is. So, I come in to, you know, my doctor. I got to get some paperwork for my job. So, my doctor, you know, I go to his office. He's like, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah. And he sends me out. And the person, somebody comes. And they're like, you know. We'll send the paperwork up to you. Okay. So I get the paperwork and I read it and it's not accurate to what he says previously. So I go to the bag and I try to talk to him. So his nurse or a nurse comes and stops me, like physically touches me. So let me explain something to you. You don't never put your fucking hands on nobody. Like at all. Like, I mean, it's a simple way of saying stop. You don't like, like for anybody that put hands on people. Like, I don't give a fuck what your profession is. Do not put hands on people at all. Unless you ready to get hands back on your ass. So what if she put her hands on me and I smack the shit out of her, right? And she started crying and asked for help. No, nah, bitch, you touch me first. So this is what you get. So since I didn't cry and ask for help, this is what you take. All right, move forward. So she stops me. You know, I'm trying to go talk to him about my paperwork. And I, I tell her, thank you. And I explain to her, I say, look, you don't need to put hands on people. Well, you're not supposed to come back here. No, that's not the point. Um, you don't put hands on people. But thank you for your duds. And I walked out. Now, I'm kind of pissed because... Like, one wrong doesn't justify another wrong. You know, you don't get to say, oh, I put my hands on you because you, you're not supposed to come back here. No, what you're supposed to do is be like, hey, you know what I'm saying, step back. Too many people overstep their own boundaries, right? You don't take matters into your hands unless you're ready for what comes with those matters. Like, I have no problem with you touching me as long as I get to touch you back. So when I smack the shit out of you, we just move forward from there, right? Nah, we won't, because it's wrong. So how about you don't take matters into your own fucking hands? You just go on with it, bro. Like, I understand, man. I understand it's a protocol to meet your doctor and da 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 all that shit. You don't know what people got. And you're supposed to stay back. I understand that. But the last time I came through, I just came through and gave my paperwork to me. So I'm going off that rhetoric. Stop treating people as this is the same shit. That's what's wrong with society today, man. Nobody treats everybody. It's just they're special. Because we all are. Everybody's different. Everybody's different, bro. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. But I'm cool with that. Do you. But be ready for what comes with that. If I walk up and smack a girl in the ass, right, and she slapped the shit out of me, or some dude come and try to beat the fuck out of me, try is the key word. You know, I asked for that. So, bro, just stop doing shit that you ain't expecting shit to happen back to you. Or if you're going to do it, be ready for what we come with that. All right, cool.